When it comes to video game characters, the safest bet to figure out which is canon is the video games obviously themselves, right? But video games also have other media, but it's very contentious on whether people believe they're canon or not. It's not really no clear answer, especially in current times. We just know the games for sure are. That's why for confusion purposes, I just decided to put them in different videos. I chose to make this video separate because the comics and the feats of these comics are so over the top, I thought it would be perfect for a separate video about, realistically, I'm not really trying to get into the what's canon and what's not canon debate, which is why I said I'm just going to make this a separate video for the heck of it. I've seen some people argue that, yeah, this should be canon because it's just a retelling of a previous game, but yeah, some of the feats are kind of ridiculous it is. This Liu Kang, for example. Like Mortal Kombat 4 Brazilian comics, for example, I want to go over this version of Liu Kang because I said, why not? Because I decided to split up the Liu Kang videos into separate videos now. Since it is a comic book and Mortal Kombat has a lot of other, other comic books that are not necessarily Brazilian like this one is, I thought this would be interesting to go over. I really feel the art style in this one though. He can still do the standard stuff like blast power related stuff like flame projection. Luke Kane can do still. It's interesting that Luke Kane can shoot flame projection. He also fights up being that can blast with flames. Scorpion. Since this is supposed to be a retelling of other Mortal Kombat stories, of course, this Liu Kang has a lot of similarities to the main one from the video games we know for a fact is official. Talking about here how he learned from the Shaolin Monks, which is probably why he knows how to do energy projective type stuff and even do crazy stuff like turn into a dragon. Every version of Liu Kang, let's face it, is a martial arts fighter and has supernatural attributes like being able to kick other beings that are pretty super strong too. Like Sabot, when you got superhuman stuff like this, you see him kick Liu Kang and beings go flying after Liu Kang's kick to show his super strength. Other superhuman hell spawnish type characters like Scorpion, for example, we've seen him getting in scuffles with. Of course, all these different Mortal Kombat superhuman beings always fight each other one way or another. He has great pain tolerance, being slashed, and can continue fighting. Bicycle kick, his classic move, even in comic lore, he can do these type of things. The thing that makes this Liu Kang so crazy is that this version of Liu Kang seemed to be able to do something that even Elder Gods couldn't do. When it comes to the destructive power he can produce, this is something we've seen him do in previous game, turn into the actual dragon, but this version of the dragon, when Liu Kang transforms into it, seems to give him power of the gods, or even above the elder gods, one could say. Because in this book, these power levels were kind of ridiculous. Uh, Fujin, a deity, and Raiden, another deity, they're working together, blasting with their blast power against this being known as Shinnok, right? They stated that the powers emanating from the gods combine borders on infinity, power capable of moving worlds, undoing galaxies, not even the very explosion that led to the creation of the universe could match it. This being Shinnok was withstanding all of these BS from Raiden and Fujin, they was producing this kind of power. The impact was being felt in all the realms of Mortal Kombat, like different universes basically, you know, each Mortal Kombat realm is a different universe, because it stated here that the impact of them clashing, the impact was felt in all the worlds. Even the innocent who knew nothing of the fight can feel it feel that somewhere the foundation of the universe is shaken reality itself is at stake because of the blast fujin and raiden was putting out but check this out Liu Kang was a big component of this fight like raiden them was just literally buying time for Liu Kang. same with fujin they was waiting for Kang to do his thing so this is when we see Liu Kang literally transform into an actual dragon it was even stated that only Liu Kang can unleash the most powerful of all blows so despite raiding blasting with all this force same with fujin forces that can shake the universe they even straight up said that only Liu Kang can unleash the most powerful blows even though they're putting out universe shaking power and they was talking about the form of a dragon, the supreme symbol of power. Not even the elder guy can stand against that power. And it kind of adds up with the Lord because look what he did to him after he turned into a dragon, biting this guy, Shinnok, that was taken with universe shattering attacks. <laughs> Fatalities done in the comic lore. They even say in narration, if Raiden and Fuji can't damage a being that's withstanding the force of a big bang, what the hope does a mortal do? You know, that mortal Liu Kang they're talking about. They're letting you know, wow, how could Liu Kang be this strong? But yet he's definitely this strong because they straight up show only Liu Kang can unleash the powerfulest of all the blows. All of that is over and everything is safe because of Liu Kang. Earth Realm is safe. Yo, this version of Liu Kang was crazy. Basically proving he could turn into a dragon and the dragon can harm something that was withstanding universe shaking blows or blasts. But there is implications he can't do this in his base state. He had to actually turn into a dragon. So maybe his dragon form is in a le another leaf versus his base. You know what I mean? I will admit though, I don't think he can do this universe shaking stuff in his base form, even in his comic version. They made a big deal out of that dragon form. So they're implying that he needed that dragon form to be able to surpass the Elder Gods and do something that iconic. So when you see humans hurt him in his base form, I wouldn't say it's a fair assumption to assume just because they're going to hurt him in Liu Kang's base form that they can shake the universe also. This only applies with Liu Kang in that dragon form. Like don't take all 
thought he's drawing blood feet seriously. You know what I mean? But yeah, MK gets a little wonky sometimes. You probably didn't know there was a version of Liu Kang out there that could shake the cosmos, did you? <laughs> but before I get going, everybody, you got to respect this version of Liu Kang, especially in the legendary dragon form, something that Raiden said surpassed elder gods and not even the gods can compete with. The sign of Mortal Kombat. But before I get going, thanks for the donations, everybody. Helps out a lot. Respect Liu Kang, though. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.